everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and our continuing series where we review every single Capcom CPS, CP System Dash, CPS 2, and CPS 3 game ever made. And today we're taking a look at the original Street Fighter Alpha. This is the first original Street Fighter game that had come out since Street Fighter in 1991. Granted, Capcom iterated on Street Fighter 2 a ton, but this was the first time since then a new Street Fighter series had come out in arcades. Before we get too far involved there, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down there as well. And I absolutely love the Street Fighter Alpha franchise. I would say it's my favorite entry of Street Fighter of all time, and that's because it's the one that I'm the best at. I've never 100% clicked with Street Fighter, but Alpha just plays in a way that I've been really interested in ever since it came out. Now I will say that if you're going to play a Street Fighter Alpha game and just pick one, I would not start with Street Fighter Alpha. It's obviously the first one, the roster's the thinnest, and it's probably not the best looking game of the three. Now I know there's a lot of debate as to whether or not technically Street Fighter Alpha 2 or Alpha 3 is the better game in the franchise. I prefer 3, but I know a lot of people like 2. But no matter what game you play, you're getting a lot of really good fighting game action here. And compared to Street Fighter 2, things are changed completely. Now we have a 3 level power gauge there's just more going on and this is kind of when street fighter transitioned into its new phase now i will say it's a mixed bag on this game mechanically is absolutely outstanding this background is just hideous and ugly to me and i'm not sure why that is because some of the other backgrounds in the game are absolutely spectacular in some ways street fighter alpha feels like a mechanically finished game that visually didn't get done in time and they wanted to get this out the door because you're so used to having these really ornate, interesting backgrounds in a Street Fighter game. But here we just have a static image in the background with just a few cats running around. And I get it, I'm missing the forest or the trees. The main mechanic of this game is fighting and that is quite good. But I love the visuals that Capcom always puts up for their fighting games and the really ornate, interesting backgrounds. And the original Street Fighter Alpha just is lacking in that respect, which kind of bums me out because you can see glimpses of it here and there. But other stages, the backgrounds are just really, really boring to look at, which is unfortunate, but it's just a small, minor little thing. But mechanically, like I said, this isn't like Street Fighter 2. Of course, it has, you know, a similarity to it, but I enjoy playing this much more than I ever did Street Fighter 2. This is the series that Capcom put together that just always clicked with me as far as inputs are concerned, the speed of it, everything really connects. But speaking of those backgrounds, here on this stage, Fighting Guy, everything looks amazing and I just wish that the entire game had this same look to it. But I guess in canon, this game happens between Street Fighter and Street Fighter 2, so you're getting some younger versions of characters and you're getting some characters that weren't in Street Fighter or Street Fighter 2, so that is a lot of interest as well. And it's definitely a ton of fun. And when this came out, I remember it in arcades. I checked it out. I enjoyed it. I would say that I was probably more into Mortal Kombat around this time if it was out or maybe I saw this game a couple years later on arcade floors. I can't remember. It was, you know, over two decades ago. But again, moving back, we had an amazing background, and now we have the same background as the first stage, except it's now nighttime. It's just, I'm not even sure what that's supposed to be. It kind of looks like a lobster tail or a shrimp tail to me, to be entirely honest with you. And I know I'm spending a little bit too much time talking about the art, the backgrounds, but considering I have a fine art degree and I love looking at things like that, it's just it's one of those things that I do notice. And that's why I say... If you've never played any Street Fighter Alpha game, I would start with two or three. Not only are they much better to look at, mechanically they're more sound, the roster's a lot bigger, everything that's going on in them is just a little bit more exciting and refined. But I would say that this game has great music as well. I mean, when it's doing everything right, it's absolutely spectacular. I mean, right here, all of the combat is great. It's giving me a good challenge. It's not too hard. It's not too easy. We have all these background sprites running around. Apparently, you can pay 25 cents for a live act with lipstick. I think you know what that means, and that's pretty cheap, I guess. I'm not sure what you hear this supposed to be, but that's a deal. But yeah, it's just one of those things. When this game is on, it's super good. And that's all the time mechanically. I've got no complaints mechanically about this game. It plays much better when you have two people in the room. But like I said, it's just a little bit of a visual thing. But I mentioned the soundtrack being great. So go ahead and listen for about a minute. This is a great remix of a classic song and I'll be right back. One, play. Oh, 
It's just absolutely a perfect remix of the original Street Fighter 2 intro music, and I absolutely love it. And like I said, this is just a ton of fun to play. It iterates enough on the Street Fighter 2 formula as far as how the gameplay is concerned to feel new and fresh, but Capcom didn't throw everything out the window and start again, because Street Fighter 2 mechanically was so good for them that why would you ever decide to just kind of start from the beginning and remake the entire series with a different type of input or a different type of gameplay? That would be foolish, and Capcom was really smart not to do that. So I'm playing this on the Mr. FPJ and the Hotego course, but I do have this on my CPS2 as well. And those are definitely the ways I recommend you play the game unless you download a version on a modern console. The Street Fighter Alpha Anthology did come out on PlayStation 2. And while mechanically it's good, I've noticed that there's a little bit too much lag in the controller inputs that makes the game harder to play. Now here on the Mr., the input lag, if it is there, is imperceivable and affects absolutely nothing as far as pulling your moves off are concerned. And obviously in original arcade board with a super gun into a pvm with an arcade stick is playing identical to what you would have experienced back in the day in arcades i just noticed because i do own that anthology that there's a little bit of lag in it that isn't the greatest thing in the world but like all fighting games get a friend in the same room and just start playing this together and it's going to be a ton more fun because the ai in this it's not too hard it's not too easy it just doesn't like to do much it likes to block a lot and hide in the corner and i kind of wish it would give me a little bit more some of the characters you know aren't as good as others birdie here he's kind of fun to play as but i really don't like his design and obviously not all of these characters made it on further into the series but again like i said if you're going to play a Street Fighter Alpha game because you've never played one before, definitely try two or three versus this. Because just coming back again to, you know, looking at it, the character sprites are awesome. They've got tons of frames of animation, but this is the most boring, uninspired background in probably any of the Street Fighter games I've played up until this point. And once we have the video on Street Fighter Alpha 2 and Alpha 3, you're going to start seeing that the graphics come way more alive. This is a stepping stone for Capcom. They were trying to get past Street Fighter 2 because they've been releasing iterations of that for the longest time. But I'm sure, you know, they had to get this game onto the market and something suffered. And I would say that the background in that is definitely one of them. But I did get the rare double KO there. It's something you barely ever see in a fighting game, but I managed to do it. But short of that, that's Street Fighter Alpha. It's the first game in the Alpha series. If you have any questions or comments, I'll leave them down below. Love chatting with you guys. I'll be back next Wednesday with another video in the CPS2 review series. But like I mentioned earlier, do me a huge favor. Hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Definitely helps me out. Short of that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.